Estimates suggest that by 2020, 10% of all cars on the road will be electric cars like these. What that means fundamentally is, in a matter of a few years' time, we might have three million cars like these on the road. Whether that figure comes to pass, it seems clear that we're going through a shift in how we power our cars, with EVs like the Renault Fluence and Nissan Leaf, plug-in hybrids like the new Toyota Prius, and extended range electric vehicles like the Vauxhall Ampera becoming more common. What all of these cars have in common is that they can run on electric power only, and that electric power can come from a number of sources. The most obvious way of charging one of these electric cars is to run a cable from a power socket in your house or place of work to the car using one of two different cables. One can be plugged into the mains via a three-pin socket, but the other requires a dedicated wall box to be installed in your home or garage by a qualified electrician. Alternatively, a public charging point, like these at a dedicated ZE electric car specialist Renault dealership, can be used for a fee. Now Renault's thought about this and it's installed a number of public charging points at 22 specialists around the country that specialise in these ZE electric cars and that should make it a little bit easier if you're looking for charging points. If you have any sort of plug-in hybrid or EV you can use these at any of Renault's specialist ZE garages. Renault's Liverpool ZE specialist Paul Sheridan told me what private or business customers can expect from a ZE expert dealership and what potential buyers can expect from an electric car. EVs for, for everyone basically, it all depends on your mileage and what you want in the use of the car. It's not essentially a primary car, it's a second stroke third car. If you do 60 miles a day and you're quite conservative how you drive, then it really is ideal for you. If you're heavy on the accelerator or you're doing a lot of motorway driving where it can't do the regenerative braking, then again it's probably not as suitable for you. It's a new driving style really, you've got to look at it, you've got to be very careful on the accelerator. You can push it down, the, the power and the torque and the, the, everything that comes with it is very responsive because there's no gearbox, it's like an automatic gearbox but it's just instant power from your generator. There's two ways you can charge a car, the twizzy behind me comes with its own built-in cable and that's with just a normal three pin plug. Ideally you have an isolated socket in your garage or an outside wall socket and that's the only way you can charge a Twizzy. On the Fluence and Kangoo, basically you've got the wall box there that British Gas come out and do a survey, and that's the proper way to charge it. You get a cable with your car when you buy the car, and that goes from your plug into your car to plug into the wall box. Once you've locked the car, your cable's locked to the post and the car, so no one can just come ripping them out or anything like that. So once you plug them in and lock them up, the cables can't come out. What we recommend is, is you charge through the night at your home, because it's more, more sufficient electricity then. Depending on your provider, six to eight hours it's fully charged, two to four pounds to get a full charge. And when you consider you're going to get, what, up to 115 miles out of affluence, it's a lot cheaper in fuel. Now, with Renault, you don't buy the battery. You buy the vehicle, but you lease a battery off Renault. The benefit of leasing a battery is you've got the backup of Renault's. If the battery drops below 75%, of work in charge, then Renault will replace the battery or repair it free of charge and loan your car while that's being done. You've got to look at it, it is totally different to a petrol or diesel car. You've got to look at it and you want to, you want to do your bit for the environment as well. If, you, if you're looking at it that way, then it is an ideal situation. Like any new technology, it takes getting used to. But everyone who's drove it have been really impressed. No one's been disappointed with how they drive. It's just getting your head round a new way to like fuel a car as such. By the end of the year, Renault's ZE range will comprise four electric vehicles, representing a real vanguard in electric car use. But whether a sceptical public can be lured out of their petrol and diesel cars and towards an uncertain ownership proposition with electric cars remains to be seen. Renault has done everything possible to smooth the way for EV ownership, but in the face of increasing competition from ultra-efficient hybrids, turbo diesels and range-extended electric vehicles, the EV early adopters will need to be brave indeed in more ways than one.